it's salty, salty already when it comes out. You can taste it a little bit just with your fingernail and you can feel how salty is the water coming from underneath. What we basically have are terraces. Do you see? Terraces, terraces, terraces. On the top of the terraces is where we have the ponds that are not so deep. They are seven centimeters, eight centimeters deep for a faster evaporation. You can see that the terraces are facing the east. No? It becomes an oven. At 12, 1, 2 p.m. is when you have the strongest sun and it works much better. So this is a gift from the nature. And this is proving that million years ago, all of this was part of the ocean. Salt in the Andes proves that in some way. Okay? So let's start going down because more people will come later. With a piece of wood, he's scratching. He's barefoot, he's not wearing the boots. He should do it. Yeah. But most of them don't like it because they feel more comfortable barefoot. But in some way that's not good for him because the salt burns the skin. No? That's, that's, he's not open. wearing gloves either. No cool. gloves, no boots, no sunglasses. Because when you work in places like this, you have the reflection uh, on your face. So through the time, these people can have troubles with cataracts, for example, or red eyes, infections, etc. But you can see the way how, how he's working. He's not going so deep. He's doing it very careful. He will create like a pile. And at the same time, before he did that, he stepped on the soil. He stepped, he st and he will do it probably now. He will step on the soil because in some way he's washing. He's going to wash the soil with the water that is inside the pond. With a piece of wood. And after he finishes that, he will use a container to filtrate the water. And he will take the salt out from the pond and he will make like little pyramids. Do you see? Now, next to him, there is one pile. That he will make those type of pyramids and then they will put them in sacks and they will transport them to the storage house. Yeah? A couple of men walking down with the chicha on the right hand. Yeah. No so good for them to work on the bottom because then they will have hard time transporting the salt to the top. And they do it through those narrow passages so they have to make balance a little bit. But they are experts and they know how to do it. They can carry 40 to 50 kilos on the back, bringing the salt from the bottom to the top. These people are lucky. Top has been uh, has a process of how do you say iodine, iodine, which is a chemical or iodom. Yeah, it's the chemical that the salt needs to make it good for us. If the salt doesn't have iodine, we can get goiter. Goiter is an illness, it's a sickness that makes this part of your neck swell. Yeah? So without iodine, it's not good. It's not healthy for us. But this one has already the chemical. <coughs> yeah? This is called extra quality. This is called extra quality. You can see it's wider. First quality, less white. Third quality, darker. It has more clay on it. So there are different types of salt that we can sell. This that we call sedimentary is the one that we can pick up from the borders. You can pick it up from the borders. Before the Incas, the people used it like this, picking it up, picking it up. The Incas brought the technology of the terraces. Only, my friends, the extra quality can be used for this. And for every 50 kilos of extra quality, the people can get 25 soles. For every 50, 20, uh, 50 kilos, 25 soles. For example, that man from that small pond, he will get 50 kilos. 
from the biggest, 150 kilos, and probably 200 in some cases. But most of them give us 50 kilos of salt. Yeah? So let's see from where the water is. You see, down there is the water. It's not a lot. We can have a lot of pond. The water goes to each pond. In summertime, rain season, this place will be washed and it becomes all clayy. So this is a good time to come because we still see it working and we still see it white. But in December, January, February, March, it's all clayy. And the water keeps running down. So the Urubamba River, the one that we saw in the valley, has a little bit of salty water, but it's minimum. No, it doesn't kill the fishes in the river, nothing, because it's minimum. So let's walk down and just with the finger, like this, so you can taste how salty is the water. And the temperature, because for being here, the water should be 7 degrees, 8 degrees. It's warmer. Yeah? This one. And it's not cold. No. It's mm. kind of warm. Mm. Yeah? Okay, that is okay. Yeah. So it's 75 grams per liter, more than the ocean. And the water splits out, it splits out to different areas. Look at this pond. It has the crystals already because of the sun. Yeah? How important is to don't mix this with the rain? Because if it rains, it will take longer and the water will be mixed with salt, with sweet water. That's the last part of the season. So this is the last soul that these people are harvesting. Because in one more month, holidays for everybody. But remember that these people are farmers, basically farmers, they own the fields. This is like a second, second important activity for them. Yeah? We're gonna walk a little bit that way, and then we come back so you can have a better view of the ponds. Yeah? This way. Uh, some of them are starting to use the boots, some of them use gloves, none of them use sunglasses. So imagine working here for hours with the sun on your face, with the reflection on your face. Oh. So through the time, cataracts, infections in the eye, red eyes all the time, because people don't, don't usually protect themselves. Yeah? You can notice that the water comes down by gravity. Mm. So the channeling that the Incas built is so effective, it's so good. It's first quality of hydraulic uh, knowledge that we have in the area. Are they open like that? They just put See, the they channel. just put those stones mm. and so the water keeps running down. If they want the water go that way, they just pick it up. Pieces of stones like that and that's the way. So the water goes down by gravity. So that means that where we were at the beginning is higher than when we are. That's the water comes down. So there was no flooding, so the water getting stuck, nothing. And this, they, sorry, they walk, when they work, work on this, they walk down here? They walk, see, they can go that way or they can go around. There are these little, these narrow passages oh. that the people used to walk from the bottom to the top, from the right to the left. 